Welcome. This is Jody Roundhouse. Jody Roundhouse, the Roundhouse Report, public service announcement. Survivalist belt. Kid out. If something hits the fan, be it a natural disaster, a hurricane, tornado, flooding, uh, a act of terrorism, uh, an attack on America's electrical grid via cyber capabilities that have been, are being perfected by near peer competitors like Russia and China, they probably already have the capability, if they so chose, to shut down, say, the electric grid for the eastern part of the United States. And it may remain shut down for, say, two weeks. You know? And during those two weeks, every place where there's no power, it would devolve. If you've ever seen the movie The Postman with Kevin Costner, it would devolve into that kind of a thing. You know, so for, so for those two weeks, you're going to have, eventually no one's going to know what to do. Within a few days, neighbors are going to start to band together, and you have to be armed, and you have to be ready, because bad, there's, there's evil out there. Evil exists, and there are wolves that prey on weak, on the weak people. So even if you are aggressive yourself, and you know what you're doing, they, they will come at you and, you, and and you need to be prepared for that, regardless of whether or not you're a, quote, pacifist or not. Because let's face it, all the stuff that I'm wearing is going to sit in your closet. Unless you live in like a bad area, like a war zone, a ghetto. If you live in Florida, hurricane nation, you know, those freaking hurricane state. Um, I mean, this stuff's going to sit in your closet like nine months out of the year. Probably more like a couple years at a time. But when this battle of Berkeley stuff happened, that's when I was like, this is kind of, this is getting messed up. Because I was watching Tucker Carlson at the time. Um... The media, the, so you know, the media was said, uh, and this is just about a quote at the, when the, uh, bat, the when the initial protests at Berkeley happened a year or two ago. Today is the 26th of April, 2019. The Battle of Berkeley uh, protests they turned into riots a year or two ago. Uh, I saw that, and then I kept I looked at more sources, I looked at more videos. Uh, I saw what the media was trying to do with skewing it. Uh, literally saying that there were there was no violence. When I, I went on YouTube and I was like, "What's going on? There's hundreds of people in the street on both sides fighting each other. This is a pitched battle, and the police are just standing there. This is weird." Okay. So, this is how you would be decked out in a overall crisis scenario. I'm gonna have to, I think, do this to the screen so I can stand up. You can still at least see me, a semblance of me. Now, some of you guys are reeling the guns. I'm not necessarily real on the guns, but like I said, that kind of crap's necessary. So if you can have a tactical leg holster, something that's not some something that's not cumbersome, that's good. You're gonna need to have a flashlight. This is just standard. Well, that's on my belt. On the vest, there's just that basic stuff: a headlamp. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty strong headlamp. Uh. I got some real kick uh, pepper spray right here. I have magazine holders or an AK-47 or an M4 carbine. Um, extra straps. You want a basic knife. Just write it just in case you need it. Uh, canteen. What else do I got back here? Now, I think you've seen enough with regard to this vest. I'm getting hot. So and it's based on the, on, on the mole military system. This is the kind of stuff that we use in the military today. You see these loops? See, I just put my finger through that. I don't know if you can see it. See, now that's called the mole system. I, I, I can put a hook through that, and I can put whatever I want. That's why I have these guys, these carabiner hooks. I can, I, I can clip this to wherever I want on this entire vest. That's the mole system. Wherever I want, even on the back. Like I said, I'm going to take it off because it's getting kind of hot. an infection for about two weeks now and I have to put this ointment on my on my rear area and it's uh it's stains everything that I wear <laughs> you're gonna want to have a flashlight that's for key number one the flashlights really are kind of overrated they're they've been replaced with a standard headlamp um typically this would be kitted out right here uh either like night vision or headlamp um 
different settings. You know, if it, you know code red, need help. Now you always have to represent. Well, actually, I forgot to do that. Please subscribe, Jody Roundhouse. Oh, I'm blocking my own picture. Jody Roundhouse, the Roundhouse Report. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to monetize it. So any help that you can give would be appreciated. You got to represent on your helmet. You don't want to get shot, number one. So on the back of your helmet, people see you as you're maneuvering. This would be a scenario where there's violence on the streets, riots, uh, Battle Berkeley type stuff, which is happening more and more and more. And as 2020 draws near and each party starts to hire their uh, pro protesters, peaceful protesters, but they show up with shields and bats. Um, both parties do that. Uh, this would be that kind of thing. Or if you're in an actual war, because this is a standard military grade helmet. Um, I don't think it's actual Kevlar, but it may, it may deflect the bullet. But this is also for hurricanes. Um, the last time I live in a, in, a, in a hurricane zone. So the last time that there was a major hurricane here, I, you know, I had to bring my dog out. I'm not going to let her out on her own. The, the winds were 60 miles, 70 miles, 80 miles an hour plus. So I had to bring her out on a leash and there was shit, there was stuff flying all over the place, debris. If you get hit in the head by a rock that is the size of the tip of my pinky, if you get hit by a thick rock that's the size of the tip of my pinky, you know, like an inch, an inch by an inch, that's traveling at 80 miles an hour, if you get knocked in the head with that, you're probably going to die. If you don't die, you're going to have permanent brain damage and you may end up in a wheelchair as a vegetable. So I put this guy on, I had my rain poncho on and crap, and I had this on. I didn't have this on. There was no need for it. This is for shotgun shells. This, again, like war zone, post-Katrina type stuff, okay? Basic kit. Pocket knife. Again, those carabiner hooks. Okay, something pops off fast and you need to quickly readjust. Those are important. Uh, Self-defense mechanisms. This is a... Uh, Xavier Red. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of law enforcement agencies use this. I've been... Uh, I've tested it twice. And uh, it's pretty effective. And then this, based on, again, where I live, I live, you know, subtropics, jungle environment, it sucks. And uh, so this is a good thing to have um, for anybody, really, uh, these anti-gun people. Get a can of this. It's, it's for bears. So when you shoot it, it actually kicks back as if it's a firearm. You're like, bam, because it's so powerful. You can just hold it, and you're like, Psh! and it just unleashes Something that would encompass, imagine a grizzly bear that's on its hind legs and unleashes that. So I recommend getting this. You could clear out a house if you were an attacker. You could clear out a house with this if you're a defender. You could, you would bomb your own house, but you could take care of it. You would be messed up though, but that's why you have gas masks. That's why you have gas masks. Tear gas, CS military tear gas, pepper spray. So what you do is, you go to the best of the best. Israel! Woo! I believe it is a law that these be issued to every civilian inside of Israel. Every citizen of Israel has to own one of these. I believe it's a law. It's airtight sealed, ready to go. My handle is porty, portable. Okay, you're going to need that. That's, that can be used in so many different scenarios. With regard to representation, um, I showed you the flag on the back. You don't want to get shot in your maneuvering. Stuff that's white is obviously pretty stupid if you're going to be in a combat zone. But from the head, from the aerial shot, if you have Overwatch, if you have snipers, you want them to have some kind of color. If even, even if it's a small um, two centimeter by two centimeter patch of blue, you need to have some kind of coloring to identify yourself. But these are big colorings. But if you develop into a militia, if things devolve into that, say the instead of two weeks, the power grid's out for two months. And by week two, everyone's out of food and supplies. No one really knows what to do. So by week two, out of two months, things start to devolve. And now you start to see your neighbors riding around in their pickup trucks. And there's dudes in the back with guns. And they're hungry. Yeah. Got some good neighbors around here. They have a lot of guns. Uh... 
because you need protection. People, uh, you, you peaceniks, uh, guys, you, you Antifa or whatever, who claim to be like nonviolent, you use excessive force on like nonviolent protesters. It's freaking ridiculous. Uh, Antifa and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not saying kill them or anything, but I'm saying that's why you want to use things that don't kill people. This, this is going to hurt you. It's going to mess you up. But after a couple hours in the shower and stuff, you should be fine. Uh, bullet chain here for shotgun shells. But if you wanted to get creative, I've used this as a belt before. And again, these are loops. So you can just, I mean, you could use a carabiner hook again if you really needed it. But a shotgun shell fits perfectly into this. And this was like eight bucks. I mean, for real, I just went to the Army Navy surplus store. Trust me, if you've ever shot skeet, you ever shot trap out on the range, you want something like this. Because if you have a double barrel shotgun or a typical shotgun that holds, say, five rounds or something, seven rounds, I don't know if that's legal, I'm not sure five is, I believe. Uh, you're going to go through this pretty quick in a fast combat scenario. I'm going to go ahead and remove this gear now that you've seen it. Again, a headlamp is vital. It has replaced the flashlight of the modern day, uh, I don't know, push it by your bed. You have both hands, not just one. This is good because this will kill somebody. It's a flashlight that'll blind them, and if you hit them hard in the head, it will kill them. I don't want to kill people, but I do want to see what I'm doing. Um, I can hit them in the shoulder or maybe break their shoulder. I recommend this kind, though, uh, LE. LE makes it. And it's really, uh, I've brought, they've upgraded their models and stuff. I've bought a number of them uh, for like bug out kits and stuff like that. Ellie, um, since I live in the subtropics, you're going to want to have a hat that's breathable. As you can see, no pun intended. <sighs> Good grief. You can see right through it. But where I live, you have flesh eating insects that the tourist industry doesn't want people to know about. So you don't really know about that kind of stuff unless you live here and have experienced it or if you go online and do research. The, once these militias form after about a couple of weeks and they start showing up and they're doing like right out of the postman, they're like, yo, we've been invaded. And we're like, we're, what? We've been invaded? Be, you know, because by this point, you know, especially if there's an EMP blast involved, um, your radio frequencies aren't going to work. I mean, and even if they do, after two weeks, things are going to break down. People will not have food. Ammo will be, ammo will be source, uh, scarce. Water will be scarce. Uh, basic necessities. Um, and if, it, if it's a storm situation, like a Hurricane Katrina, that was a delayed response. Those people in, in Hurricane Katrina who could not get out, there's a lot, thousands and thousands, if not tens of thousands of them. It took a couple of weeks. There were a lot of gangs roaming the streets. A lot of people got killed. A lot of people got hurt. You see, is the opportunity. Hobbesian state of nature. These type of events bring bring that out. I, I, I wrote out a couple of things. Um, and by the way, with regard to the security belt or the uh, utility belt, if, it, it can also be used just for working security. Uh, it can be used, like I said, uh, for storms. That's what I use it for. Uh, storms, hurricanes, tornadoes. If you live in a place like Florida or like along that whole area, Louisiana, that whole part along the Gulf of Mexico, you know, where you have like annual storms, hurricanes. Uh, if you live in a ghetto, uh, if you live in Afghanistan or in Iraq or in Syria. Or um, if you are completely insane. I'll let you guys be the judge of that one. But once these militias start coming around, they're going to say, yeah, we've been invaded. They know that we haven't. They've come from, say, uh, the, the northeast, the northwest, they drove across. They, they drove across, seizing the opportunity. Hobbesian state of nature, and if I mean breaking down the, the Hobbesian state of nature, it's it's simply, <laughs> it's anarchy. Uh, that he that's that's why he argues so much for uh you know having a having a viable government and a viable.